so this is our second video in our Scrivener tutorial series uh, and today we're going to talk about views and targets and I'm going to start with targets actually because I think it's one of the coolest features on um, Scrivener. So what do you do? You come here, oh, no, this is, <laughs> you come here and you put um, target project targets, show project targets. So what I do here, let's say I'm gonna write um, 80,000 word um, novel, which is a decent size. And uh, so this is gonna keep track. The more I write, it's gonna show you where is then how far I am from finishing this novel. And, and the section target is also useful, like if you have a, specific number of words you want to write per day. So let's say you want to write a thousand words um, today. So you just come here and you hit apply and you can also play around here with the options. You can put the deadline, you can set your writing days and it's gonna estimate your deadline. So you can have some fun with this if you want. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it uh, simple. Basically it says that I'm halfway through almost um, so I'm gonna, oh, and I like to come here and put like show target notifications. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit that target. I'm actually gonna write a thousand words. And turn it on, almost there. Bling, it says that I achieved my goal. And something else that you can do, also related to targets, is that you can come over here and set the target for this specific document. So let's say in this specific document, I wanted to write 2000 words. So it shows that I'm halfway through. And if I write some more, you see, the bar goes from yellow to green, greener anyway. Uh, and you can do this to, you know, every single scene you have, you can set, you know, your target for that scene. And isn't cute, it shows you we're here and, and there is the progress bar. I think it's adorable. So now I'm gonna show you the views. And a view that is particularly useful is if you wanna you know, just check the progress of your novel, is the outliner. So the outliner you can um, click with the left button of your mouse and, um, and then you put here whatever you want. So I like to put the total word count and um, and the cool thing about here, I just show you how uh, targets work. And uh, it already comes with the total target, like what's the target for each scene and, um, you know, and chapter. And it shows you the progress. You know, isn't it nice? I love this. Um, so this is how this view works. And also remember that the previous video I showed like, um, use a uh, label color and then I show you how to put the label color in the icons over here. So you can also put the label colors in the outliner rules and this is how it's gonna look like. Um, I like to put this here. Some people find it too colorful but do whatever you think it's uh, it's nice. What do I have to show next? Oh yes, of course, full screen. This is probably the view that I use the most um, because I like to write and full screen. But not like this, like what is this? This is awful. So what I do is I make sure that full screen is full screen and uh, I change the, uh, the zoom over here and make sure it's huge. Um, and another thing that I like to do, and this is just for fun, but I like to put a, a image in the background. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose this over here because it matches um, my current project and also matches my screensaver. It matches everything. <laughs> uh, but anyways, like I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Because you have to come here to paper fade. You know, the more you, the you know, whatever. So you have to come paper fade and you know use this and that's how it's, it's just some disclaims. I like it subtle. Um, if you don't like this you can of course um, play around with this and um, what's gonna do 
let me show you something that's going to show you okay and then you have this area over here and you can put the inspector for instance here if you want and the keywords which i haven't shown you yet but you can put them here as well i don't think this is useful uh when i come to uh from screen mode i want to write um i don't want any distractions so i leave it like this this is how i like it and the last view i want to show you today is the cork board um and it's quite useful if you want to you know if you want to see uh, like the description of all your chapters for instance this is quite useful honestly for you to have an idea of how your scenes are progressing from one to the next and one thing that you can do that is quite fun is that you can use label color and the index cards so now they are colorful i mean if they have a label they are colorful um which those two over here they do and something else that i need to put in here you come to corkboard options and i like to put the show status snips Ta -da! you see i love this uh but then again like the corkboard and the outliner use them more if you want to look to your project as a whole and and this is quite important and you need to do this a lot actually that's pretty much it for the next video we are gonna compile and i made a video just to compile because there's a lot of options and i want to make sure you understand all your choices but that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button here below please subscribe put your questions in the comment section below let me know what you want to see in future videos and i see you guys next time bye all right come by